While the North Dakota resident waterfowl opener was last weekend, this Saturday thousands of non-residents will be hitting the fields and sloughs of North Dakota for the full season opener. And joining us with some reminders is biologist Doug Lear with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. First, uh, do you have any uh, feedback from last weekend? You know, actually, the weather wasn't really that conducive to duck hunting. Saturday was a beautiful day for football and for <laughs> golf, but not as much for duck hunting. But that said, there was a lot of resident ducks that were around. So the, the guys and the gals that went out hunting actually had some pretty good reports from our resident waterfall season opener. So when you consider the weather conditions weren't that great, I think we've got, um, unfortunately, more duck hunting type weather in our midst right. now. So <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually setting up pretty good for this coming weekend, Lisa. And you do have some reminders for people as we see more and more hunters starting to hit the fields. Right, our non-resident waterfall hunters, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, they spend a lot more time hunting ducks and geese from a boat. And the aquatic nuisance species rules and regulations, those are not just for summertime fishing and summertime boating. Those are for fall. Anytime that you're going into the water, those are those still come into play. So you need to remove any plant and plant fragments, whether it's from your decoys, from your duck boats, even cleaning off your dog, cleaning off the trailer that your that your duck boat is in. Pull the plug, drain the water from your duck boat. Again, common reminders in the summertime, but sometimes people overlook those when we get into fall. And then also, we really want to stress safety. And and again, people think of water safety more about skiing in the summertime. But when you're duck hunting in the, in the fall, water safety needs to be at the top of the list as well, Lisa. Because sadly, we do have incidents where people get into trouble, right? Right. We've had uh, eight people drowned that were duck hunting from, you know, over the water. And none of them were wearing life jackets. None of them were wearing PFDs. So, again, those are some pretty grim statistics. And we want to make sure that everybody gets out, enjoys some time out hunting, but stays safe as well, Lisa. And will you guys be out as well, checking to make sure people are following the rules as yeah, well? Yeah, it's a, it's a busy time of year for our game wardens. So you'll be out there hunting, and they'll be out there uh, checking their enforcement side of things as well. Doug Lear with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome.